Welcome to Episode 5 of The Ron and Bill Show. You can listen on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and YouTube. So, without further ado, let's get right into this episode. This is Bill. Spoke to Ron just a little bit ago, and he's alive. I was concerned about him. Hadn't heard from him a couple days. I have never seen him get sick, and I've been friends with him for a few years, and we've been working closely. And all I can say is, thank goodness I didn't go out with lunch with him last week. Hey, Ron, happy to see you're back up. I'm going to do this show solo. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some concepts and ideas that would help you both in your podcast and later on in monetizing. And then we're going to go into a little bit of the show that I almost put up, which is our brainstorming. But I want to send that over to Ron to let him listen to our brainstorming session that we did at Moxie's, which was done on an iPhone in a quasi-noisy restaurant. So you could hear how that sounds. So let's get into this episode. The seven characteristics of a vlog, blog, or podcast are one, inspirational, two, simplistic, three, targeted, four, interactive, five, discoverable, six, consistent, and seven, sustainable. Now, I'm going to go into detail on all seven of those and how they might apply to this show as we evolve. So, what does inspirational mean? Inspirational means to me, It has to be inspirational, not just to the listener, but it has to inspire me. I have to podcast on something that I'm passionate about, that I want to do. And I know my passion right now at my age is to create another company. I've created two or three in my life, and I want to create a business based around new media. This is definitely part of new media, digital world. It sort of all ties together. It's extraordinarily interesting, and it's exciting because the world is changing, and it's changing fast. Number two, simplicity. Simplicity means, first of all, that you can take this podcast or vlog and in one sentence, you can explain what it's about. Now, I've taken a few minutes out and I've thought to myself what that simple message might be. But this is just my one sentence about what the show is about. And we have to bring Ron into the mix and he's going to come up with his one sentence. And we'll see how they tie in together. You know, this is going to be fun because these seven points that I'm talking about, we'll send them on over to Ron as he recovers from his sick bed, and he can come up with his answers, and we'll do a show similar to this with Ron. How's that? So, Ron, hurry up and get well so we can get your version of this show. Number three is targeted. Now, targeted goes to, oh, well, who's your avatar? Now, for the avatar for this show... I don't want to go into too much detail. Ron and I were brainstorming and we went back and forth with who the avatar is. Now, it can't be too broad and it really should just be one person for this show. So we're going to have to come up together with a description of one person and who that ideal person is who listens to this show. Number four is interactive. Interactive means that we get questions from the listener. So the places that we have interaction are One, on YouTube, you leave answers and questions and we answer you back and talk, maybe emails. And, you know, eventually you get out to conventions and seminars and different places in the world and you meet people and you talk to them, you see them. You know, Reno is an amazing place. There is so much to do here. We're Reno Tahoe. I mean, we're just minutes away from the rim and Tahoe and the lake and the rivers, the mountains, skiing in the winter, the desert out to our east. There's just lots to do here. It's a fun place. So what do you think about us, Ron and Bill, putting a conference for you, the listener, here in Reno? If you like that idea, go ahead and leave us a message on episode five on YouTube, the vlog, or our post at ronandbillshow.com. Number five, discoverable. So what does discoverable mean? Well, it starts out with your blog or vlog and being discovered online through SEO, things of that nature. We find that monetize, monetize something, monetize your brain, monetize will come up when people are searching. So I think that's a good word for discoverability. But the other element that's very important in discoverability is word of mouth between the listeners and people we know and meet. Number five is consistency. Now, consistency is really important in two areas. One is we need to put the show up once a week, at least, sometimes twice, because we'll have special shows, but at least once a week, on the same day, at the same time, 
each week. Now, we're still not sure what day we're going to put it up. I've been doing some research. You know, the best time to send out an email is Wednesday or Thursday at 9 to 10 o'clock in your time zone. And that's the best time for to send out an email. Not sure what the best day to launch a podcast is. I think, though, Thursday is a really good target day each week for us to launch. So we'll shoot for Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific time to publish our episode each week. Now, this week, we're going to try to do two. If Ron's healthy enough, maybe he can do a show similar to this, but I'm not sure. I talked to him tonight. His voice wasn't real strong. Now, the other part of consistency, consistency also means preparation and consistent theme, that we stay on our basic core theme and we focus on our avatar, our target audience, you, the listener. We focus on you. And finally, sustainability. Sustainability, really important. So what does sustainability mean? It means that we stay motivated to continue to produce really good shows. Motivation, I mean, it goes back to inspiration, motivation, inspiration. But sustainability means also that maybe you to sustain to keep on going, you have to have, mon- you have to monetize whatever you're doing. And if you can monetize something you love to do, oh, that's a great combination. Monetizing what we do is important. I have written a list of 21 ways to monetize. But what I found is you got to sort of do one thing at a time. So for me, the first way I found monetizing paid off was through my podcast, Timelines of Success. Now, at Timelines, I interview people who have had successful careers or in the process of having a successful career. I've interviewed mayors, top engineers, and people in my community, as well as people from around the world. And what I found is we have a real estate company both in California and Nevada. And because of those podcasts going worldwide as well as local, people have got to know me and they've shared the podcast with their families. And people have used our real estate company because of the podcast. And that's literally meant thousands of dollars to us in revenues. My wife is a broker in both California and Nevada, and I'm a broker in California. So what I do is I run the marketing side of the real estate company, and my wife runs the operational side and actually works directly with the clients listing and buying homes in both states. By the way, I since I run the backside, the marketing side and technology, I can actually go into some detail of how we use Facebook and Google AdWords really to build our our company, along with the podcast and other social media. So, and Ron brings a lot of strengths also. He's a very good affiliate marketer, as well as an Infusionsoft partner. So that leads me to the last two ways that I've been monetizing over the last few years. And one is through affiliate marketing, which Ron does really well. A third way is a niche down website development company that builds websites for podcasters. And the next way of four, this is only four of 21, but the fourth way that I'm just monetizing, it's really my last way I'm looking at monetizing right now, is through doTERRA. Now, I got into doTERRA because of Ron. And I've been in a couple of years, and I'm looking at ways that how can you build this business online? And I'll go into more detail about doTERRA later. But for more information, go to eosecrets.com. And I want to finish up this podcast by listening to part of a brainstorming session that Ron and I did at a very noisy restaurant. So here it is. When you start working on podcasts, the brain opens up, and we're going to start a podcast. Brainstorming with Ron and Bill. We'll have brainstorming. As we'll talk about that for shows. Yeah. What was the, the name you came up with? Monetize Your Brain? Or, or um, no, no. Brain no. Money or something. No, like no. That. You, you Man, did. It's now in the you. notes. Some people would do share the oil. I got to break in here. Is that the most bizarre sound you've ever heard in a restaurant? Mm-hmm. What's the avatar for Share the Will? I, I think of it's women. Oh, yeah, it's it's like women it's just, who are healers. No, it's not. No. It's not healers? Mm-mm. They sure look like healers to me. It just depends on what I'm targeting. I want business builders. I don't want just buyers. That was, no, it was good what you did, though. The um, You know, the, the four elements out there. I think a lot of women are healers, mm-hmm. but they still, what's the other element they have to have to be business owners? You got to be a warrior. You got to have some warrior in you. You have to have some of the analytical skills and, and, and a mission oriented approach. You know, what a good way to finish. You have to have some warrior in you. So I think part of the avatar who listens to this show has some warrior in them. For listening in to this episode of The Ron and Bill Show, if you could on YouTube, go right here where I'm pointing, 
If you're on iTunes, go on over to our website, ronandbillshow.com and subscribe to our show. We'd also appreciate ratings and reviews on iTunes. Well, till next week, take care. Remember to you can monetize your brain or at least start thinking about monetizing your brain and then we'll put it into action.